What's going on, players? <laughs> Steve O Army out there. Late night hall ass garage. Freezing bloody cold. <sighs> this weather, Love it's it. wearing me down. Loving it. Here you going, Brosif? Oh, it's fucking cold out here. It's, like, no, it's not great. Anyway, we finally got our. Uh, oh, now I can do the spin around. Hang on. Pause. Bloody brake cylinder turn up today there, Brosif. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Got a little bit of. A little, little bit of mounting going on here. Oh, have you? In the old mounting yard, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all up in here, we're bloody making water. Oh, we, we're going to make water pot. I went and bought stainless pot today to make water pots because our outlet's on the wrong side. But it's going to clash with the alternator, so we decided not be lazy and move that outlet to the other side. What have you got going here, bro? Got the notch our little cross there. Oh, uh, yeah. Little plate to go on the back. Gonna go there, Bloody beautiful. Wind up there, metal. Oh, it looks good, mate. Looks good. Good extender. Where's little... your stupid dog? Hey. Huh. You doing nitro? Yay! You're not barking to be a moron. <laughs> That'll change. <laughs> yeah. So. Got that. What we do? We're gonna weld the nuts, bolts, and oh, yeah, we've got a yeah, bloody rod. rod. We'll have to make our rod a little bit bigger. Yeah. Story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, so we're gonna, what do you get? We're gonna weld the bolts on the back of this. Yeah. So, in future reference, when the brake cylinder fails, because it's bloody probably terrible, <laughs> you just have to undo the nuts, you have to get under there with the spanner. So, we're gonna weld them on the back, mm. then we're gonna mount that. He's gonna make a brace on the angle from the chassis, mm -hmm. so it's bloody super sturdy. So, when we're going down Conrod Strait, the thing doesn't bend and brace, yeah. get brake flex. Back to the chassis. Yeah, the boys at bloody ABS have bloody made me up a line. Thanks to them boys, so bloody hooked me up there. Uh, so we didn't have to annoy Scuba Steve and get him to come out to do three flare fittings. And what else we got going on? Mainly brake stuff right now. Yeah. And then we're going to stop because it's too cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've made an effort to start, so I hope you all appreciate that. Sure. <laughs> and so... Oh yeah, I've got the, the front brake line just dummy sitting there. Oh, we've got brackets to hold the hoses. Uh, yeah, look at all this new stuff I bought again today. I'm just going wild. Bloody. And then I bought it all and we're not going to use it anyway. So, uh, All right, we're going to glue these bolts on and get back to you, I guess. What's going on, bruh? My oh, mate's turned up, he's had tape today. We've got the master here today. About to call in the heavy the heavy hitters. Need some angles and some firewalls. How good is our show? Ask for coil over shocks. Oh hang on, where's anybody white thing? Oh yeah. And you get them. We got new blokes are the best. So I don't know what we've actually achieved today. Oh, we started making a firewall. That's why we got the old boy back in. We got the insert in. And we're having a bit of, we got to, because somebody put the buddy steering box under the firewall. The old boy's not happy about it. We've been in the shit all day. <clears throat> so we've got to, we've ceased the firewall production. We're going to get back to that tomorrow. He's made it bloody big enough to put a V12 Merlin in, but apparently that's how big it needs to be. But we're going to do stuff. It hasn't worked out. <laughs> So we're going into making the shock mounts at the back. So, uh, what else have we got done? Oh, did we get to the, yeah, we did the brakes last night. Brake cylinders in, boys. Pedals are in. Very bloody comfortable. Very bloody comfortable. It's pretty much like a Rolls Royce in here. The old mate over here. The old mate's bloody, I've been off the tools for a bit. He's been blaming the square. He cut a couple of angles and he's bloody... Oh, what, what happened to it? What, go on, give us your buddy version of it. What happened to it? <laughs> yeah, nothing. You weren't holding it right. <laughs> anyway, we're... Uh, in that uh, is that what it was? So we're making a tower to uh, mount the shockies. Oh, it's a bit dark, but them tabs are actually the Corolla tabs off uh, Old Mate's Corolla, the original spring shackle tabs, because I was too lazy to drill holes. So that's what we're using. Once old dribbler here finishes, buddy this up we'll be laughing oh is that a big rod mate oh yeah you're the one oh i reckon my camera's dirty my new camera it doesn't look as clear it looks like the old samsung what with the light 
Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, there's the moon. Yeah, well, look at this clever old bastard. He had the day off yesterday. He's back today. He's bloody got the sunshine. He only comes out in the sun, the old bugger. We've got bloody firewall. It's got bloody curves for a guy in the dizzy. And bloody making brake lines over here. Bloody tabs and brakes and all sorts of shit going on today. We're definitely going to be dried up by Sunday, like we said last Sunday. Oh, I doubt it, but let's see how we go. All right. Yeah, nothing else really exciting going on. Look who's back from bloody TAFE. Oh, no. Did TAFE go there, big wheels? Yeah, not too bad. What'd you do bad. today? A bit of oxy work. Oh, a bit of oxy. I know, we decided, because the, the old polkster had to go. We didn't want to mess with his firewall. We've got bloody firewall going in here. That Ooh, it's a bit flush for us. Yeah, buddy, got shapes and all sorts of stuff. Old fella, it's a little bit offside in the middle. Something actually, she got a bit like that. But anyway, he's made it work. Looks Pretty happy with that, actually. He's bloody hidden the steering box in behind it. That's bloody gone good. Anyway, we'll finish it off tomorrow. It's getting cold and shitty in here, so. Luckily, in Shepparton, we've got one of the best exhaust shops in Australia. I'll make Chiron in there. So, on Friday, I went in there. And this is a thing you can do with your exhaust shop. They've always got offcuts and bins full of shit. So, I went and raided all that. He's given me an unknown muffler that's... He goes, I don't... I said, don't care. It looks like a muffler. That'll do. And what you can do when you're in an exhaust shop is get them to bloody expand it up for you. So, when you're at home, you don't have to butt weld it. You can just slide them in together. And you get your buddy little collector, and you can make it all home, and it'll cost you bugger all. I think it cost me, buddy, 120 bucks for everything I needed. So, thanks to the boys at uh, Midland Mufflers, Kyron in there, he always looks after me. Um, so, have you had the rear fucking shock set up here? Oh, I bloody haven't. Now it's welded in. Yeah, double shock that's stiff as hell. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a bit of a rough ride, I think, but uh, anyway, it's in there. I'll make glue it all up. We've got uh, handbrake, I do like handbrake stuff, which we're going to make probably tomorrow because it's going to be too cold soon. All right, we're going to start, uh, oh mate's going to get the TIG out. We've marked this, uh, marked this flange here. Set up over here. Oh yeah, look at this set up. <laughs> Looks a lot like a Nigerian video I've seen once, but anyway. All right, so there he's done that. So oh mate's going to get the bloody new TIG out. We're all going to get a lesson here, apparently. Yeah, apparently. All right. Well, we can't hold this and do it, so we'll get back to you when he's welding. All right. Old Tiggy Man. When he turns up, he bloody turns up. It's not often, but have a go at him. Unheard of in all us grind. I'm not sure why we're tigging stuff on this thing, but we're doing it anyway because it's right, it's tight. I've also fixed my tail shaft. Now, boys, at home... I've had a couple of beers today, so let's just check this together. Hang up, we're in cog here. Oh. Oh, there we go. Right, so. Oh, why won't it turn? Oh my god. Anyway, that, uh, let's just check it. I think I got it right this time. And I cut off the other end, because the other end fitted better. So, when it does fall out, like it'll be a mystery bag if it comes out of that end. Well, this end, this end was a factory fitting, nice press fit, so I thought I'd tackle that end. Just murder everything. Uh, what else? Uh, it's getting cold. We're going to go watch a foosball soon. Who's playing foosball tonight? Uh, Melbourne Swans. Ooh, who's going to win that? Yeah, Melbourne. Melbourne. Stuff the Swans, he says. Yeah. You got any money on it? I will. I will. Oh, <laughs> old deep pockets. He's going to have, have a little splash, is he? Yeah. Yeah, right, mate. Oh, no. All right, well, we're going to make, make this other side and uh, we'll get back to you. Oh, bloody glorious day in the western suburbs here today. Thank God. Oh, no, we had bloody firewall progress yesterday. Oh, mate, it's bloody new firewall in. We've got some panels. We're going to bloody roll some bloody... Cover all these holes. We're going to swage some fancy bloody... Gonna swage some bloody fancy holes here and then roll that lip over the other one. So that's quite pretty bloody good. What else we got going on today? Buddy, I might shit the bed this morning, I think. He's out and he's into a old glue boy. So we've got from the headers, made up to there. 
both sides, then we're going under here, and then we've got this muffler, this random muffler. The boys at Midland's got me, it's unidentifiable, he's had it forever. Sort of straight through with some stuff in there. Oh, it's even got a stock number. No name. Anyway, that'll be enough for this big 305 to uh, keep that hog ass cam in check. We've got some other scrap that he gave us to make a tailpipe. And then we're going to tackle, that'll be exhaust. Then we're going to pull that diff center out and see what it actually is. Maybe give it a bit of a CIG locker treatment because we know this only did one wheel peels and that just will not do on this show. Uh, what else we got to do apart from everything? Just everything. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Get that cone on there, mate. Collector cone. Oh, look at him go. Bloody beautiful. All right, we'll glue all this up and get back to us. The bloody hell, it's just an illegal modification I'm witnessing here. Nah, We've got a spoolie boy happening here. It's legal. It's legal, is it? Yeah. That looks pretty legal. Can't even see what you've done. Oh, uh, that's a sneak peek of what he's done. It's the little one. We're not going to bloody incriminate ourselves, but there might be some stuff going on here. We're not re racing it with the MIG. Nah, a quick re race. Get the camera off, mate. No, mate. Um, so, very important. If you go and do a hot rod show, you have to re-race your diff before you go. So if your buddy um, gets stuck in the mud, only one wheel spins, big trouble, boys, big trouble. A lot of rain down here, so... Just, uh, mig your hubs in, and you won't have any problems. Righto. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know is when you've got, like, 102 horsepower, you need ladder bars and springs and coilovers. Why is that, mate? Apparently. Oh, you reckon the diff's going to bounce off, buddy, no tomorrow? Oh, yeah, 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 right. So. Normally a lack of power breaks everything and does diff spring whop, so we've got it. It's rusty and terrible. Oh, it's terrible. And it's like, there's no way that diff's ever fallen out. It's attached by 48 points. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't going to be one of them guys. Three. And if it does, just mock us to death if it, a diff actually does fall out. <laughs> Free to mock us. All right, we're going to weld all this shit on. Yeah. We've got our uh, diff locker in. I oh, mean, yeah, oh, the, the, the hubs are locked in. We yeah, didn't do anything no, illegal or anything. No, the bloody actual gear oil in our. How much was this? Was it 300 bucks this one? It was a bit more expensive, wasn't it? The, the diff oil was a. The highest one. The highest one we got from Melbourne. Some junky guy. <laughs> the diff oil was amazing. I reckon he took the oil out of it, sold it to someone, and serviced it for us. So thanks. Huckbeard Manya Manya, whatever your name was. All right, we're going to glue this up, then we're going to slide the axles back in. Yeah. And we're running out of stuff to do on the back end, hopefully. Well, God, matey, he's yeah. running out of stuff to do on the back oh. end. Uh, he's a bit of a back end expert, this bloke. Yeah, I've heard that, heard that. Yeah, right. right. yeah I'll film a bit of welding, because we haven't really done any filming. Because no one really cares. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good welding. Yeah, sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Yeah, we're still going to after today. I said the old mate, don't try it with a flat wheel being used for the metal. It'll be contaminated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What a penis. Yeah, she's a bit rough. Is it? It's funny, I bought you a new wire brush. What to do with that? I'm not sure that's going to help you, but... It's going to weld that hole up we put in it, bloody hero. Which one? Yeah, that one. About four of them. That's fine. Better cut and blow a hole right through the middle of it. <laughs> Probably two, <cool>, though. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this one. Oh, hang on. Very <laughs> special guest this evening. Oh, the old mud master's in the house. It's nice icy frosting for the mud. What are you, uh, what are you cooking up there, mate? Oh. Yeah, just run us through the recipe. How many uh, bits of flour and meringue and ah. eggs do we need? <laughs> got all of it, mate. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You've got to give it a tap. Yeah, yep. she's nearly ready to go. So I've uh, yeah. bought him the best quality stuff I could oh, it's find. Ferrari brand. Ferrari. When it had a Ferrari, I'm like, it's got to be good. Professional, expert grade, premium, lightweight, 
body filler, and it's made in Australia. We've got the professional mixing So we got this, we've got a slight skim on the door. We're all doodle breathy. You just welded it continuously, maybe suck the Don't door in. Well, I reckon well, there's about five mil in the door. <laughs> Mudmaster there. Oh, it might be a little bit more. Oh, gee, bloody hell. Need to tune your weld up there first year. Ah, was it? You're better now. Yeah. That'll help with the traction. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So the front, uh, that's, that's all right. done. And now we're uh, tackling the, uh, actually, we're going to film this. The uh, quarters that are made 85 different. Just tip the whole lot of them, mate. Don't, <laughs> don't even worry about that. Just pull it off. So the tailgate now, G Force, after we've seen it stayed on all drag challenge, it's still on there. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. This is like 1980s all over again. If they had cameras in the 1980s, this is what they were doing in Coburg. We've got it covered, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, considering a, how much is a bloody A model Ford these days? Oh, a body? About 12 grand? Yeah. So, what are we up to? About three grand for a whole car, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor man's Ford. This Don't, no one run into me at Chopped, please. Yeah. Or if you see me hit a tree, look out for shrapnel that comes out the back of this. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Oh, mud master. Laughing. Oh, it's coming up well. Right. Anyway, we've got the front stuff. The front was actually the best bit because it was just patch panels. Oh, did I show you the firewall? Oh, bloody bead rolled and all that stuff. Now the front corner's done. Got a bit more mud on here where the whole door's sucked in. So we've just got to do the back now. We've hammered it out the best we could, but as you can imagine, it's not great. <laughs> it's actually far from great. But when you flip a tourer body upside down and do stuff, that's what you get. Oh, look at it now. I don't think we need to sand that. <laughs> that's actually come up a lot better than I thought it was going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah. People at home are just cringing right now, and I love it. Please send in your body work and tips. <laughs> if you need a car painted, get onto our mate here at our Hard Metal. <laughs> he loves doing body work. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, this is what you'll teams. get. Bring your GT, your Monaros. He does all of them. <laughs> you like they're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> they roll out, all roll out on four wheels. So I don't discriminate. <laughs> it's going to be a shame to paint this thing <laughs> over this body work we've done here. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, the uh, kegerator's still going good, boys. What, you, what number keg is this? Uh, number two. <laughs> Not much help from you either, I've noticed. Oh, actually, on the weekend you gave it a bit of a touch-up, didn't you? I'm oh, your body welding. Oh, yeah, you're always welding, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I've got the chassis painted today, which I don't think I've videoed any of it. Uh, so trying to do stuff, buddy, before we go to America, so. Trying to get all done. Trying to get, like we said for the last four weeks, we're going to drive it. We still haven't, so. But now we've gone to getting it, <laughs> getting the bodywork sculpted <laughs> before I might show here. So we're looking to win uh, best the rod or show or I don't know, what, what other what other awards at hot rod shows? I got no idea. Uh, best decorated cake. Most lowest compression. <laughs> best S6. Best tsunami yeah, hairdo. So. Best. Oh, I wish I lived in 1950, but I don't. What other awards do they have? Uh, oh, the Betty Boop thing. That's is there a Betty Boop award? That, look at that. That's bloody unreal. That's pretty much, um, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's finished it. That's finished. I'm trying to think of a panel shop who um, I can compare this to, but nothing's springing to mind right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Well, uh, well, not all heroes wear capes. Well, that's right. Oh, gee, you've nearly mowed one tin. I oh, know. How many kilos is that you put in there? What's well, a no, kilo? No, there's still more in there. No, oh, I know there is. I'm just... Four, oh, they don't say by kilos now, they're just four litres. No, nope, we've still got packing so what, what We've still it, got 200 mil in there. Would it be a kilo a litre or? So four kilos. Well, that's about half the weight we've welded into it, I reckon. So, all right. So we're going to keep doing this. We won't bore you to death with it. Because it's uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, what else have we got done? Oh, we've got floorboards now. I don't know if we filmed any of that. We've got fuel tank mounts. Uh, yeah, we've, we've done, we've been doing stuff. We just haven't filmed a lot. Because <laughs> we noticed like our last video made for 30 minutes and no one watched it because it was too boring. And I agree, it was boring, but anyway, we'll uh, get back to you when something cool happens. Righto, fast forward 28 processes. 
So the chassis is now painted. I forgot to mention that the other day. She's got some GMH chassis black on her. So that's all done. Body filled in the pits really good. So as soon as that gets dirty, crusty, it'll look exactly how I want it. And I'll never have to wash it. And it'll look like being dragged out of a barn. So once we leave this in the shed while we go to drag week, I reckon when we get home, it will look like a barn find because everything that comes out of our shed turns into a barn find. And today, look at this. Bloody hair goods TV. Bet you it looks unreal. So I've gone red oxide on the bottom. I was going to go all red oxide. I'm like, ah, it's a bit bloody, a bit bloody red. So we've split it down the body line. And I've misted it in the top, so it bloody looks like a bit of a barn for in there. So once it gets all dirty, it'll look like it's flaked off. Like I say, once I reckon we get back from drag week and drag it out and cover it in dirt, bloody no one will know the difference. So got all that done. Bloody quarters. No longer have big weld marks in them. <laughs> You'll see what went on there, but you'd see it most it's mostly where the welds were. Actually you can turn it out. kids to play on all the patch panels and different panels that were in there what we made it out of because no one had quarters so uh, it's turned out good enough we just want to drive a quality something fun to burn around in so got that got the boot lid painted dust free environment of course so red oxide primer and then put a touch of uh, black in it with the GMH black Go to this like original hot roddy brown thing like they have at the salt flats, which I want to pack. So low maintenance, that roof's a bit shiny, so I'll probably scotch bride it and maybe even the sides. We'll see how the uh the dirt trick that goes in the shed while we're away. So as per usual in Victoria, it's about to piss rain again for the millionth time. Yes, so it was just a train wreck. So we'll uh I'm gonna lift the body on for Apprentice gets home because he's been mocking me all day about my paint job and sending me funny, being a funny guy. So I'm going to sit on, it's going to look awesome. So, black with that, with the black on there, I reckon it's going to look alright. So, uh, then what are we going to do? Hopefully, his radiator's done. Uh, we've got a hydraulic handbrake in there, though, didn't show you that. Bloody hydraulic handbrake up to the back. We've got bloody ladder bars, we've got all the bars. So, uh, we're trying to figure out how much we're into this thing the other night. So I've got to go back and look at the video. I think we paid, what, 2200 or two and a half for this thing. We've got 500 in the motor, so that's three. I reckon I paid 500 for the wheels, three and a half, 300 for the diff, probably 300 bucks of metal, the top loader and the bell housing, of course, I had. Uh, we reckon we're about six and a half, seven grand. Something else I've forgotten, other major componentry. Oh, the brake stuff. Uh, oh, we put that Toyota Stout bloody chassis with the axle. I think that was three or four hundred bucks. So we're in at about seven grand, I reckon. Which seems like a lot of money for what we have, but looking at the price of hot rods or anything these days, it's probably not too bad. So, so all you got to do, boys, just round up shit, glue it together, and you'll be able to go to Chopped and have a fat time with 305 cubic inches and 120 horsepower, hopefully. I think I'm being a little bit optimistic there, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to slam this cab on before old mate gets home. And check out how their masterpiece looks. Oh, thanks to the boys that found me a couple of hubcaps. I put a thing up on uh, Instagram the other day. And instantly, I oh, bloody love you blokes. He's unreal. Instantly, one bloke had one and another bloke had another one. And they posted them up. So, thanks to them boys. Oh, look at this. It's been in the shed that leaks. So, it's already got spatters all over it. That didn't take long. By the time we get home for drag week, this bastard I'll be bringing hot rod. They'll be so old. Barn find. So, I don't like it when they're shiny like that. It's not my deal. Anyway, all right. I'll uh, get this cab on. We'll see uh, how much of a... Uh, Good looking thing or disaster it is. Oh, the maiden voyage. Oh, yeah. A hot rodder. Bloody rodder's life. Oh, that front wheel wobbles. 
<laughs> the front wheel looks like it's going to fall off. Probably is. <laughs> oh, matey, set me up the car. Right? <laughs> this is bullshit, right? So, probably a good idea. Try to kill me. Before you uh, <laughs> go for a test drive, maybe uh, check your wheel nuts. I reckon the other side will be exactly the same. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. actually, it'll be on the video. <laughs> filmed you the wheel was wobbling and I thought ah, I'll let him go a wheel feel forward off video will be a lot funnier a little disappointed that it didn't if it could have been Ford studs it would have snapped off like because they're too hard to stay up they've hung on so that was a bit oh. disappointing Is, uh, I've seen it going down the road, but I didn't tell him about to fall off, so I think we did that up. But he goes, got a lot of improvements to do before chop. And yeah. All in all, he runs, steers, all that work. You've got to bleed the brakes, they're terrible. Uh, what else was terrible? The gears. <laughs> yeah, what else? Apart from that, it looks apart. Yeah, the 305, we were really optimistic when I said 102 horsepower. It feels like it's got about 47. I reckon, I reckon HG Force would dust this up badly. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get this video out. We're off on a plane in the morning, so we'll be bloody sending you updates from Drag Week get away from this now, now that it goes, enough to go to shop, and yeah, we'll update you from the airport tomorrow, so if you're not on Instagram, Paul Arse Garage, or Facebook, Paul Arse Garage, you're not going to see nothing until we get there and start making videos, so thanks to everyone that's bought stuff, appreciate that, and we'll see you, hopefully, in the good old US of bloody A, 10-4, good buddies.